Hello, my name is Teacher Tracy, and today I will be sharing with you one of my favorite stories. It's called Chrysanthemum. The story of Chrysanthemum is a classic one. It was published in 1991 by an American writer and illustrator, Kevin Henkes. It tells the story of a young mouse who has a very unique name, Chrysanthemum. You might be wondering, hmm, what is Chrysanthemum? Well, chrysanthemum is the name of a flower, and although being named after a flower is common, chrysanthemum is not a common name at all. Some common flower names that you might have heard of are rose, lily, and daisy. Can you try saying chrysanthemum? You'll notice that it's not an easy name to pronounce. In the beginning of the story, our main character, chrysanthemum, loves her name and takes pride in her name as you can see here in the picture. I'll go ahead and read these couple of pages with you all. The day she was born was the happiest day in her parents' lives. She's perfect, said her father. Absolutely, said her father. And she was. She was absolutely perfect. Her name must be everything she is, said her mother. Her name must be absolutely perfect, said her father. And it was. Chrysanthemum. Her parents named her Chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum grew and grew and grew, and when she was old enough to appreciate it, Chrysanthemum loved her name. She loved the way it sounded when her mother woke her up. She loved the way it sounded when her father called her for dinner. She loved the way it sounded when she whispered it to herself in the bathroom mirror. Chrysanthemum, Chrysanthemum, Chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum loved the way her name looked when it was written with ink on an envelope. She loved the way it looked when it was written with icing on her birthday cake. She loved the way it looked when she wrote it herself with her fat orange crayon. Chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum thought her name was absolutely perfect. And then she started school. On the first day, Chrysanthemum wore her sunniest dress and her brightest smile. She ran all the way. Hooray, said Chrysanthemum, school. And it was at school when all things took a turn. She gets teased by her classmates. They point out that her name is too long and that it barely fits her name tag. Chrysanthemum is deeply affected by her peers' mean words and thinks that there's no place for her at school. So you'll see in these next couple of pages how she responds. Um, when she runs back home and tells her parents, Welcome home, said her mother. Welcome home, said her father. School is no place for me, said Chrysanthemum. My name is too long. It scarcely fits my name tag. And I'm named after a flower. Oh, pish, said her mother. Your name is beautiful and precious and priceless and fascinating and winsome, said her father. It's everything you are, said her mother. Absolutely perfect, said her father. Even though her parents try to convince her, Chrysanthemum still feels very ashamed of her own name. So one day at school, the students meet their music teacher, Mrs. Twinkle. Even in music class, Chrysanthemum's classmates continue to tease her and make fun of her name. Mrs. Twinkle lets the class know that her first name is Delphinium. It's also a long flower name. Chrysanthemum's classmates realize their mistake and apologize to Chrysanthemum. And that's when Chrysanthemum is able to regain her confidence in her name again. So this book teaches kindness. Chrysanthemum, who once cherished and loved her name, thought it was absolutely perfect, but then begins to think that her name is absolutely dreadful because of her classmates' unkind words. Words can really hurt people. It teaches us to be kind to others and treat others with respect. I hope you enjoyed this introduction and if you have time and are able to find this book, I highly recommend it and I hope you check it out. Thank you!